Yo, what's up? This is your boy Derek Branch here at Saints Cuts on Strike Step Sports. And tonight I want to quickly recap and uh, provide a few takeaways from tonight's first preseason game for the New Orleans Saints as they took on the Houston Texans. Game was at Houston at the uh, NRG Stadium, formerly known as Reliant Field. Uh, Saints didn't come away with the victory tonight. It's, it's the first preseason game of the um, kick of the year. But they lost by a score of 17 to 13. Um, so far, man, in my opinion, just based on my observation, the defense, the defense is so is a way ahead of the offense right now. Very far away, very far ahead right now, and that's. Regardless of who's in there, it's the first team defense, second team, third team, whoever. It's just it's a really good defense that's stacked on um that side of the football from, based on what I from what I've seen. Now I know it's just the first preseason. I'm not trying to react, but so far as it look up to, up to speed so far with the defense. But I will say the MVP of that game, even though they lost, was uh Chase Hansen. The guy was the guy was just all over the place, man. Just really good, you know. Stopped a few plays, got an interception. Um, was good at stopping the run. Just um, exceptional performance tonight. And if he continues to keep this up, he'll um, most likely make the final 53-man roster. He had a total of six tackles, five total, two tackle for loss. I believe he had a takeaway as well, an interception. Um, pretty good, man. Pretty good performance tonight. The defense, like, overall, I believe they had three turnovers. Yeah, that yeah, one, two, eight. three turnovers, three interceptions in the game. If I'm not mistaken, um, but Ian Book, not Ian Book. Uh, we'll get to him in a second. But Andy Dalton is the best backup in the league. <laughs> Guy on his first drive led the Saints on a touchdown. I believe was five of five, fifty-one yards, and a touchdown. Um. Pretty impressed, man. If you had this guy last year, you had Dalton on your roster. Saints are probably a playoff team. You know, we just had this had we just didn't have the right, you know, quarterback on the Sunday after Jameis went down. Went down, but I'm glad we took care of that this year in the off season by signing Andy Dalton. Hopefully, we can get Jameis back up to uh, speed. He can uh, recover from that injury. I don't think we're going to see him in a preseason game at all this year. Um, they only got two left. Um, so I'm break they're gonna get him ready for uh, the uh week one opener against the Atlanta Falcons. Falcons was gonna be on the roll. Excuse me. Now to Ian Book. Tonight I think he his performance was average. It was average at best. Um he was sacked five times. I think five times with the loss of thirty two yards. 15 to 22 passing, 121 yards, one pick. It just wasn't his night, man. It just, you know, you got KJ Costello, who they signed a few days ago. The guy that uh, dropped, you know, 600 yards on LSU's defense during that uh, C-19 year. You got uh, him uh, by right behind you. And... He is, he's going to have one more, one or two more opportunities to show this, uh, the coaching staff that he belongs on his football team. He was, he had that first, the first drive, when he first got in the game, he, he dropped off that pass to Trey Quan, not Trey Quan Smith, but, uh, Mark Ash Calloway, and he looked like he was going to do, Saints were going to do something and put some more points on the board. He throws a pass to, uh, Jawan, Jawan Johnson. Wasn't accurate at all on it. Uh, just kind of, kind of like he was on. A, on a, look, at, look like he was in a rush to throw that football. You know, felt it. You know, Johnson tipped it. It went into the hands of a Houston defender. They got the ball back. I think they scored a touchdown on that point, on that opportunity, if I'm not mistaken, or off field goal. But he has. He's gonna have to um, do a play a lot better in these next two preseason games, still on the roster. Because if not, they can easily go. They can easily let him go. Put him on a practice squad. Let it Costello go. Who knows? And they can just roll with Jameis, Dalton, and um, Taysom Hill. Now, if Jameis is not ready, God forbid, and that um, to start off the season, and Dalton gets in that role, who's going to be the backup? You know that, that's why it's important. It was important for him 
to um, play better tonight, to have a better outing. You know, um, it's gonna be crucial, man, because if Dalton has to go in, you got he he can become the backup. You know, and if you know if he goes, if Dalton goes down, he's gonna be into the game. Either him or Taysom Hill. So you're saying Taysom Hill is better than uh, Ian Book? You know, but I uh, think he, Hill didn't play tonight. A lot, there's a lot of players that, that didn't uh, play tonight. Uh, Paulson Debo is, you know, possibly a potential break. I said a breakout player, a breakout player for the 2022 NFL season on defense. Played pretty well tonight. Uh, Mark, not Mark, uh, Traquan Smith had an opportunity to pull a touchdown in. He dropped it. Um, Abram Schmidt had an uh, impressive outing until he had the fumble. He had seven carries, 30 yards. Was going in. The Saints were going to put up some more points. He fumbled it. Tony Jones Jr., like always, has a pretty plays pretty well in the preseason. A regular season. That's when things tend to, you know, be a bit shaky for him. Seven carries, 27 yards. Divine Zigbo, eight carries, 26 yards. Uh, Dwayne Washington, nine carries, 19 yards. He's, I think he's going to have a spot on this team. He's going to be on special teams. But Divine Zigbo, Tony Jones Jr., um, Abram Smith is going to be it's a toss-up right now for me. You know, out of all three of those. All three of those backs play, play pretty well, you know. But Abram Smith just can't fumble that ball. You just can't fumble like that, man, on the, uh, on the end zone, in the, on the, in the red zone against Houston. Wide receivers, we had uh, Dixon. Three receptions, 33 yards. Kawan Baker played pretty well. Two receptions, 31 yards. Marquez Callaway in that one series. One reception, 19 yards. Trey Kwan Smith had one catch. Uh, a touchdown. And no, not a touchdown. Uh, one catch, 15 yards. But this is the first game, man. This is the first game. Uh, you got to realize what's going on. What's at stake. A lot of these guys... You know, they were playing tonight. We're playing for roster spots, trying to make the fit in the final 53-man roster. Um, some of these guys, they're their first, as rookies, as it's their first opportunity to play, to um, play at the professional level. And they got to make a good impression on the coach staff to convince them not to release them, but, you know, to turn in their playbooks, you know. But only game, only preseason, man. And uh, I, would like, I would have liked for the Saints to win that game tonight, but... Didn't get it done, you know, that last play, like the defense was going to close it out until um, yeah, Driscoll got that pass off on the Saints defender, kind of took advantage of uh, number 37, and it went down there, got a touchdown, Saints didn't, got it back, didn't really do nothing with it, game over, but they got some more opportunities to uh, correct some things, and they uh, won't go into training camp. Next game against the Green Bay Packers. Uh, that's another opportunity for uh, to play against a good team. Tina has a really good offense, a really good defense. I'm looking forward to seeing Ian Book's progression from uh, in that game. I don't know if, I don't know if they're going to play uh, KJ Costello. That's up in the air. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Winston won't be playing in this game, in that game against Green Bay. And that's also that... Uh, I think it's a joint practice with Green Bay, so that's a lot of. I've been hearing a lot of um, hype about that as well. So, looking forward to see how, that, how that's going to play out too. But other than that, man, it was um, defense is pretty is, is ahead of the offense right now for what I see. You know, now, now, now mind you, the guys that are on offense that we didn't see the, the um, Jarvis Landry, the um, Chris Oliver only had a few series in there. Adam Troutman played a little bit. We didn't see that with Kamara, uh, Michael Thomas. None of, none of those guys are there. we in the game. So, you it, was, it should be expected that you're going to see, you know, a, a lackluster performance from the guys on offense right now. But I think things are going to get cleaned up as the uh, preseason and training camp progresses, goes, moves along. So, it is what it is, man. This first preseason game of the year they didn't get it done but overall I like what I see out of defense man I like what I see uh, offense could have been better you just got to keep turning the football over like that when you're um, 
when you're having good drives, you're having, you know, you, you keep the clock running, you're controlling the um the line of scrimmage, control, good uh time for controlling the time of possession. You can't kill drives with turnovers and having threes and outs. Um, at one point, Ian Book wasn't throwing the football down the field. He was throwing screen passes, and Houston the Houston's defense was just blowing it up. But he got better at as the um, in the fourth quarter, but the drive was killed because Abram Smith fumbled. It happens, man. I don't think I don't think he's one or two plays. He's you know this game is going to determine anybody to determine anybody's fate. I think they're going to give Ian Booker that opportunity. I think you know, the next two preseason games, and you still got training camp to make a good impression. So we'll see how everything plays out. But other than that, man, I'm not upset. This is a regular. It's not the regular season yet. It's preseason. We didn't have our first team offense in there for the most part. So we'll see how everything plays out going forward. All right, that's all I have for y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. How you feel about tonight's um, Saints Texans game? Also hit um, hit that bell notification icon so you can hear ever you can listen to my live my latest content whenever I go live whenever I publish a new video. Have a blessed night. Peace. I'm out. Who that?